G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Hey, this is just a real quick one after our eclipse fever yesterday. I just wanted to share this. A few weeks ago, I did the maths and found that the ISS should be in the box seat when the eclipse was approaching the Great Lakes. And sure enough it was, and NASA, they shared early. Enjoy. It's it's um it's amazing even though we're in you know the total shadow right. here it's there's still the corona is still pretty bright it I mean, is incredibly you, bright you could read by the light of the corona uh, I think I would have some trouble reading but I probably could I could technically read something <laughs> so Eric oh and actually we have the International Space Station flying over right now so they are actually seeing not one but two views of the eclipse they're able to see not just the moon passing in front of the Sun but they're also able to see the shadow of the moon passing over Earth which is absolutely incredible I mean I can hardly imagine a view being better than the one we have right now but if there is one, one it's, it's yeah probably on the space station, it's from yeah. the space station for sure <laughs> <laughs> Wow so yeah Yes, they're able to take some pictures of that, um, and that is just incredible, just incredible. It, uh, one, one of the things they told people to do if you're far away was to hear how nature changed, and it was yes. interesting here, we're of course surrounded by a lot of people, just to hear their <laughs> reaction when we went into totality. It's true, the humans in nature have not gotten quieter, but louder, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> But, I mean, you can definitely hear the, the loudness has a different kind of character to it. There's yeah. almost like a, yeah. I mean, I don't know if wonder has a sound, but I think this yeah. might be yeah. it. Yeah. Hushed awe. Yes, yeah. hushed awe. <laughs>